Hello everyone, welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Last week we learned how to add a calculated field that can tell us the difference between two different dates in days. And obviously, like I said, you can use that for minutes, hours, weeks, years, whatever. Um, it, it's the same process. This week we're going to learn how can we tell you know, the difference between two dates, just like last week. However, we want to calculate it with today's date. So how many days from the time this event happened, this date, to today, right? How can you use today? Because, uh, all, you know, so far we have been using two fields, like the created on and modified on. But how can you do a calculation with today's date? Well, that's a tip today. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So just like we did last week, we're going to add a column in here and we're going to say... Um, open days so far okay because again this is to calculate from the time it was open till right now and this field will be another whole number field and it will be a calculated field so we're gonna make calculation in here and go ahead and create this field okay so now it's telling us to Open it and where is it? Open day so far. This one, yeah. Open calculation. Come on. Oh, where did it go? I thought I saw it for a second. There it is. Okay, it's coming up. Okay, so last week we used when the status was qualified or disqualified because in this case we are looking for how many days has it been open. I only want to do the calculation if the lead is still open. If it's not open, then what's the point? Uh, and then the action will be the same formula from last week, diff in days. But now, after adding the created on date, we want to say today, right? So how can you do that? It's very simple, actually. It's just the word now. You say now, and notice that it, it has an open and close parentheses, and that's it. So give me the difference in days between the date that it was created and now. And we're going to select that, click on save and close. And we're going to go and add this to the form, just like we did last week. So I'm going to go to lead and obviously the field will still be there with a typo. I haven't changed anything. All right. So there it is. We're going to go to the fields, filter by custom. How many days open day so far? Let's just put it on top of it. Why not? And publish. Okay, now that it has been published, we're going to go back to our leads. And obviously, in this case, we're going to be looking for open leads. So let's just open Tamar here. Oops, all selected. That's not what I want. And there you go. Open day so far, 1509. How many days was it open? Nothing because it hasn't been, you know, open or it hasn't been qualified or disqualified. Now, if we want to really test it, let's do this. Let's qualify Tamar. So qualify or disqualify. It doesn't really matter which one you do. I'm just going to click on qualify because I'm trying to be more positive in my life. Uh, so now we're going to click OK. And we should see this numbers transfer to from one to the other all right well this is the opportunity well let's go back to the lead and there you go so open day so far nothing because it's not an open lead how many days was it open 1509 which is exactly the calculation that was up here and that's how you do that once again please stay tuned next week because we're going to wrap this up with a business rule that will make this pretty seamless for the users but i hope you enjoy the tip this week and we'll see you next week